today we're working on a uh, set of freezers in the cook's line that aren't working correctly. This is the condensing unit for it. If this place looks familiar. This is the one where I had to do a temp or a line set redo, but it wasn't for this freezer unit. It was for a different one. This is that where I had to went to change a coil and then found an underground line set leak and had to run a new line set. Isn't my best work, but it's what, you know, I explained it in the other video. It's what the customer could afford, so. Still works, just shows you, you know, things don't have to be absolutely perfect. If I'd have done it differently, I'd ran it on Unistrut, used strut clamps, made it straight, but you know, it was just a quick slam dunk job. That's all they wanted, so can't always be perfect but anyways back to the job at hand we've got some cooks freezers that aren't working properly this is it right here uh, condensed units not running so the first thing we're gonna do is start checking voltage so just go to the time clock there's a breaker panel over here but I'll just check right here because this should have power at all times and I've got nothing and that's on one and n is what I'm on right now so we've got no voltage, so we're gonna open up the breaker panel and check out there. So old school breaker panel. Looks like, as best I can tell, it says Cook's Freezer, so it's one of these two guys right here. That one's not tripped, but it flops off real easily, so let's open this guy up and see what's going on. So nothing's tripped at the moment. seems suspect but kind of sketch looking interesting I didn't know they had three phase up here why isn't this equipment three phase shoot I hate single phase I don't like capacitors and stuff I'm so used to three phase it's spoiled kind of okay so we need to figure out which one's which so this is a crappy situation they've got two single pole breakers running a 208 single face circuit it's not right but it'll work so it's interesting as I have no voltage on those at all and I've got three phase coming into the panel 208 three phase 208 three phase 208 three phase so I've got three phase coming into the panel but for whatever reason, I don't have power on either of these breakers to ground, which makes me wonder if we have a bad bus bar. So there's one leg to ground. There's another leg to ground. So I have nothing on these two, two legs to ground. It's interesting. I don't know the orientation of this panel. We've got 208 on that one checking the other breakers to it on that one everything else is working fine to away to away so all the other breakers are good huh that's interesting so what I could do there's another leg right here right below that and I could test no yeah so well, let me pull these uh, things apart. Let me pull these breakers apart and we'll see what we can find. I think we're gonna have an electrical problem in this panel. So, <laughs> this is so sketchy. There's no ground in this panel. There's a neutral, which essentially is a ground, but still, I, I hate this kind of stuff, this old school crap. Yeah, there's no ground wire coming up with the main feed. There's only a neutral wire coming up. This thing's so outdated which I mean it's still gonna work and it's just you know there's not a dedicated ground which just sucks I, I imagine there should be so um we've got bad breakers something's going on here uh, I need to pop these breakers off so I was able so this is the this line one is the feed for those breakers actually no line one is the feed for one of them and uh I've got power on line one and I've got power. So it's line one and line three is the feed for those breakers. So line one goes to the top breaker, line three goes to the bottom breaker. 
and this should create a 208 volt circuit. So I've got line one and line three, so it's not a bus bar problem, it's a problem in the breaker or something like that. Um, what I did was I tested, uh, I pulled the wires off the breakers, tested them to ground, there's no direct short to ground. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go downstairs and find the main breaker for this sub panel, shut it off, and then I'm gonna get these breakers out. Uh, I'm a little sketch trying to pull them out when it's hot because this breaker panel's so old and it's just everything in here is corroded. I don't want it to blow up in my face. Plus I'm not digging that no ground wire. I know what they're doing, the old school method of using the conduit as the ground, but I just, I don't know. It's kind of sketch. So, all right, I'm gonna go down and find that main breaker for this sub panel and get that shut off. Like nothing's labeled very well, but it's this one, five, seven, and nine. I could see barely in cursive. It says roof equipment panel. So it's a 70 amp. We'll go up and test power. Okay, so dead, dead, dead. We're dead to all three legs. So I'm gonna get these breakers out and inspect a little bit more. So there doesn't appear to be anything wrong with the bus bar. And I was able to get this out, and it is a double breaker. It just looks like two singles, but there's not the the bar going between the two, so they could individually trip. But it's okay because it's not three phase. If it was three phase, we'd have to make sure that it could trip together. But but there doesn't appear to be anything wrong with the breaker besides this crack right here. Uh, it's probably hard for you guys to see that. There's a big crack going down through there. There you go. Um, but yeah, the breaker's definitely bad. It's definitely all corroded too. It's gonna be an interesting one too because look at this. This is gonna be hard to find. Might have to get an electrician on this one because this is a very peculiar breaker. So I was able to source this breaker locally. Uh, there's a breaker place. This is an old Cutler hammer breaker. It's made by Eaton now. But it's a little bit different, but it fits. It's just the replacement breaker for this thing right here. 20 amp. So I got it from a place here in Riverside for you local guys called Western Enterprises. They were able, they had it in stock. Pretty cool little panel shop. I'm going to show you guys a clip right now inside there. They had all their old panels on the wall. I thought that was pretty interesting. All those little panels that they had is pretty neat. He was telling me that uh, they use that for when people come in to show them the style of panels and whatnot if they can't figure out who made it or whatever. So it's pretty cool. So, all right, well, I'm gonna change this thing out and then uh, test everything. So I shut off main power. I'm gonna test to make sure I don't have power again. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and change the breaker, put the, you know, hook everything up and then we'll turn on main power and, you know, go from there. All right, so this style, you're gonna hook on the back pop it in and I verified we have no power in this panel right now so I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut these connectors off of this these put on in we're good breaker secure go ahead and turn on power so with older panels like this you don't want to turn everything on all at once so I turned everything off we're gonna check three phase power make sure that the breaker downstairs reset correctly 208 208 so we've got 208 three phase. We're going to turn these on individually. 
nice and slow. That way we don't overload, especially on a system this old. It's giving it time for everything to start up. I'm not gonna turn this one on yet. We're gonna go inspect the electrical a little bit more to make sure there's no other problems before we turn it on. tested it to ground, there's no direct short. Spin the condenser fan motor, make sure it's not locked up. Condenser fan motor is not locked up per se. Don't see any problems, so we're gonna go ahead and fire this guy up. Defrost clock, it's fine. Don't see anything wrong in the defrost clock, so we're gonna go ahead and fire this guy up, see what happens. It's on and running. Don't see anything wrong so far. Compressor's running, suction line's already cold, and that's your fan motor's running. We're gonna watch it for a few minutes and I'm gonna go ahead and gauge up and then uh, go from there. So I'm putting my service gauges on this guy. I wanna point out the packing on the sucks inside service valve. That packing, if it has the two flat spots and you can fit a wrench on it, you need to loosen it before you actuate this valve, okay? So for instance, this one does not have a packing that one does not have a packing that you can uh, loosen, but on the suction side it does. This will help to prevent leaks. So I suggest you uh, loosen this packing first like I did, and then you can actuate the service valve. So it looks like there's a big fat leak somewhere. I think it's in my, oh, it's in my gauges. But good, we purged my gauges. Um, but yeah, so you always wanna loosen that first, okay? So the customer pointed out to me that this drain was busted, but look at this, it has a drain heater on it. So this could be the reason why the breaker tripped in the first place. I bet you anything we fish our hands back here and we're gonna find the electrical. There's some wire nuts. So we'll get this cover pulled off. So here's another thing, see those limit switches? They're not connected to anything. They're wire nutted off. We're gonna replace those too. But um, I can't source this pencil heater right now. This is over here. I'm gonna have to order it. The local suppliers don't have it. So um, we'll order a new pencil heater. I'm gonna get this put back in. These guys are secured. There's no wire sticking out of them, so I don't, they must've yanked it out or something. So it's safe. And then uh, drain line back on. It's probably going to ice up the drain pan in the meantime, but at least they'll have a freezer that's operated. Side glass is clear. We're going to let it run for a little bit. Test the defrost, then get out of here and order that heater, and then redo the limit switches when I come back. So as you guys saw in the video, that was the restaurant where I had to run a new line set. That wasn't the condensing unit for it, but that was the restaurant. So it's kind of a, a business acquaintance of ours. We've known the guy for a very long time, so just try to help them out as much as possible. In a situation like that, I might normally just call an electrician and have them deal with it, but yeah, it's a long story. But anyways, I went ahead and found a, a, a circuit breaker shop that had the particular circuit breaker, went ahead and replaced it for him and uh, got the system operating. And then when I was getting ready to leave, he brought to my attention that the unit had a one of the evaporators, there's two evaporators on that system, and one of the evaporators had a broken drain. And when he showed it to me, the pencil heater was hanging off of it. So more than likely, my thought is, is that when that drain line broke, the pencil heater shorted out and probably tripped the breaker. And it was a really old breaker and it just wouldn't reset. That's my thought. 
again, when you're doing this kind of stuff, you got to kind of stop and try to make sense and investigate, you know, what caused that breaker to turn off in the first place? He seemed to think it was just turned off, but you know, a lot of times end, user, end users can be confused on whether or not it was tripped or turned off, you know? So my thought is, is that it was tripped in the first place and when he tried to turn it on, it wouldn't reset and, you know, it was a bad breaker. So went ahead and uh, disconnected and made that pencil heater wiring safe so that way at least it can operate more than likely it's gonna freeze up the drain line again and it's also at a weird angle but um, you know we'll get the, the right pencil heater for it I got one actually already ordered coming to the shop and we'll go back out there and then I'll probably go ahead and replace those limit switches too uh, I think it's probably been that way for a very long time for whatever reason but I'll go ahead and replace those because I have some at the shop Get that taken care of and get that thing copacetic and operating like it should be again so that's pretty much it um catch you guys on the next one okay